Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have Kelly Gale here today with me. I'm so excited. Also known as Kelly Belly Boom on Instagram, but I wanted to recreate a 90s makeup look on Kelly. It's my first time doing it, and I think it turned out really good. I love it. I, I think, love it too. I think she, like, yeah. I think she likes really it. Cool. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to see how I create this look, just keep on watching. So I already prepped um, Kelly's skin beforehand, so I'm just gonna go straight into the eyes. I actually wanna put a little bit of lip balm. So since we're doing it like a 90s supermodel look today, have you ever had that makeup look done before? I think I have, yeah, and it's one of my favorites. I personally, I haven't really experimented ever in doing a look like this, so this is something new for me, and I wanted to do something different for you guys. I've always been into the super glowy, bronzy, like sultry look, so I think this will be super fun for me. It's, it's gonna be mostly like matte eyeshadows, but I'm gonna always start off by prepping the eyes with a little bit of uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm using the P. Louise Rumor number four. So like, it's so crazy. So her Instagram is actually Kelly Belly Boom, but for some reason, like I think like the eye tricks you and it says yeah. like Kelly Boom Boom. Like, Everyone she, always thinks it's Kelly Boom. But your, but your real name is Kelly Gale. Yeah. I remember the first time I, um, I ran into you. I think it was at, um, Sunset Tower, yeah, and I, I was like, too. "Oh my God, it's 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 Kelly," um, <laughs> and you just like had just super tan skin, super like your mm -hmm. like your like your makeup was like super glowy. I was like, "Oh my God," because I've I followed you for a while now, and I I remember the first time I saw you just like pop up on this other makeup artist's um, Instagram feed. I was like, "This girl is so beautiful!" Like, holy. Oh, thank sh I mean, I mean, not sh holy cow. Um, <laughs> I just got this PR in the package, and this is like, so you guys know my assistant Olivia. She um, says that she uses this foundation, and she says it's good, so I'm gonna try it today. I'm gonna put two shades down. Uh, I think 340 Oak and 360. I don't know what is going to match her, but we'll see. Um, maybe I'll use, I'll use both. I, for some reason, like as a makeup artist, like I never just use one color. I always like try to mix it. It allows me to carry. That's a good match. It it allows me to carry less foundation in my makeup kit because like instead of carrying the whole entire range, you can carry just like a few. So I'm just putting on foundation just right onto your eyelids first, and then. Oh wait, have you done a makeup tutorial on YouTube yet? So, I have. You have with yeah. who? Just, Myself. Just yourself? Yeah, I did like my everyday makeup routine. Ma we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll link that below. So I feel like 90s supermodel, it's like very warm tone, very like cut crease, lighter on the lid, a little bit of like a wingdish line, right? Nice. Um, something like sexy and sultry, but like matte. So I think I'm like drawn to like these colors in like this palette. You guys can see that. Um, so maybe like start off with like one of these like in the crease and then go from there. But I am going to use, so this is a Bedellium Tools 776 brush and I'm gonna start off with Desert. Desert it seems like more of like a warm, 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 warm brown. I'm gonna put on some eye patches just right underneath um, Kelly's eyes just because um, again, this helps me with any eyeshadow fallout makes my process that much easier. I'm gonna go straight into the eyeshadow and just slowly um, pack on this pigment. I'm, I'm starting from the outer crease, working my way into the actual crease here. I personally like the reason why sometimes I choose not to set the eyes when, when, when I put the foundation is because I really want the pigment to be able to like pick up onto the primer slash foundation. So I'm just doing the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna blend this into the crease. And I'm just, again, I'm still using this Bedellium Tools. The reason why I like this one is because I feel like it's like, if you guys have, um, if, if anyone who, um, like, like, I feel like MAC used to be the number one place that makeup artists or people would buy brushes from, but this, this is like very like the 217, but, um, but cheaper. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this darker shade, Coco. I was like pulling her eyeshadow out, but actually, 90 Supermodel is like more like shadow like on the inner corner, just to like create more of like this like big, round, um, sexy eye. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this like darker brown just right into the inner tear duct and like kind of like diffuse it out. 
So you live in Venice, and I asked her to drive all the way to Burbank today. So it was, <laughs> it was, it was a long drive for her. <laughs> like, what are your favorite things to do in Los Angeles? Oh wow! Well, I, I, I live like, like, like right by the beach, so I, I'm on the beach every day. Like, I get in the water either in the morning or at sunset. I love getting in the ocean. And going for like runs on the beach with my little puppy. Wait, do you have a puppy? Yeah. Wait, what kind of puppy do you have? She's a total mutt. She's like German Shepherd, Doberman, Rottweiler, like all the different, oh. all the different types of dogs. Like tw I think we did the test and she's like 27 plus different breeds. Oh my God. Yeah. And I like to hike and just be in nature. So it's very like, like the outdoorsy yeah. type of girl here. Very outdoorsy. <laughs> I'm very the not that. I really? like to be more so like let's like go shopping, let's go eat, let's have brunch, um, let's watch a movie. So I've I've brought in that brown. So I've brought in that brown more towards the inner tear duct, and then I'm gonna slowly like diffuse it into like the outer, um, like towards the end of her brow. But like right now, like don't don't be worried. Like I'm gonna right in the lid so it's not gonna look so dark but um but i'm just really right now like trying to make it look as diffused as possible so now i want to lighten the lid so i'm gonna use like this lighter shade right here um this is in the shade if you guys have this palette or just like any sort of maybe like skin tone color but i'm using this flat anastasia brush um, and I'm gonna actually just, I'm not gonna really cut the crease, but I'm just gonna put this lighter shade right into the inner um, tear duct and kind of just like pack this color onto the skin. So I'm doing the same thing still. I'm just like gonna kind of pack this on. And what's really helpful about so why I didn't have to like cut the crease with a concealer is because the lids were primed and with like a little bit of foundation still, even though like the other shadow was on it, it allowed this to pick up and I think it allows the cut crease to look a little bit more natural. So now I'm going to, so there's like two eyeliners that I really like, um, Teddy and Costa Riche and I wanna think, I think I'm, I'm gonna use Costa Riche. It's like a nice like chocolatey, reddish warm brown but so um with 90 when we look a little yeah with 90 supermodel looks um it's more of like a smudged out <laughs> i honestly don't know but um i am i from what the pictures that i see it's like very not like the modern day super sharp sharp eyeliner, it's a little bit more um, natural and smudged out. So I'm just gonna add this liner just like right on top of Kelly's um, lash line. And wing it out just a little bit. So like we wanna really um, like emulate the look of like a smoked out, sultry effect. So by doing that, I'm gonna apply the eyeliner first and then I'm just gonna take like a small blending brush and be able to like, like smudge it out. And I'm gonna bring this more towards the inner corner as well, just so you can see the brown line once like Kelly opens up her eyes. So I'm gonna do the other eye and come right back. So I'm gonna curl Kelly's eyelashes and put mascara on off camera. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually go into the skin. The eyes are basically done. I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish off like the bottom eyeliner once the foundation's on, but I'm gonna use this color corrector from um, KKW. And um, I'm gonna put a little bit just like right into the under eyes. So what type of coverage do you like? Cause like you have, like you, you have some freckles. Do you like, do you, do you like showing your, your, your freckles? You can cover them. Cover them? Really? <laughs> But it's not really freckles, it's like hyperpigmentation. No, it's freckles. Okay, well the freckles are fine. But like, you know, like the little like things, I usually cover them. Yeah. Do you wear sunscreen? Yeah. That's a lie. She, she, she paused. <laughs> <laughs> she paused. She's like, uh, uh yeah. 
<laughs> Sometimes, yeah. not every day. <laughs> But then my my foundation actually has like 15 SPF. I don't know if that. Does Girl, you barely wear foundation. You said you you said you wear foundation only sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna mix again shades 340 and 360 together, and I want to put like just a little bit of oil, just because I always do, um, into my foundation, even though that's not a full. Do you guys, um, will, will, will you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to start doing reviews on other products? Because like right now, like for the last few videos, I, I, I've been using products that I already know and that I, I've already been using. So I just wanted it like for like the first videos to be like authentic to me and just to like to just really teach like what I love and like how I do things. But I definitely at this point now, I feel like this is like my... I don't know what number video this is, but I want to start experimenting more, experimenting more, and like tr just like trying different products and stuff. So let me know if you guys want me to do reviews on products. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, this is the Kat Von D or the KVD foundation brush, and I'm just gonna apply this foundation right on over. The coverage is um, very light, just because again I did put an oil on it, so it's not gonna be as full coverage as, I don't think this is, this is supposed to be a radiant foundation, so hopefully it's, just, it's, it's, it's supposed to be um, natural, but the whole point of, I like, I like things that are buildable, so then you don't have to, um, you don't have to, like, I like foundations that are like, honestly, like full coverage, and then you can, you can just like shear them out with an oil or a, like a like like a moisturizer. That's what I do actually. You do? I have, yeah. Yeah, because I feel like it's like if you wear like a tinted moisturizer all the time, like does it doesn't it doesn't even, like what if you want to be like more full coverage <laughs> one day? I don't yeah. know. So I just launched. Um, so this is my major scope. So I'm using the shade she's um, sculpted, and I'm using the cream first. And do you contour? Yeah. You do. What do yeah. you use? Come for it. Oh, well, we're gonna put you up, put, put you onto this girl. Um, so let me look straight into camera. Um, I'm gonna use this cream and just kind of just stamp it right into your the hollows of your cheekbones. And like, so this brush is honestly, I'm so excited I can't finally start like talking about it. I like have been using this on my YouTube channel for like a while now, and I just don't even talk about it. But. Um, this really just like makes the contouring process like that much easier. You can just like stamp it on. I like contouring before I put on concealer just because I feel like it allows me to use like a little bit less concealer. But I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just like kind of blend this into the skin. So now I'm gonna brighten the under eyes and use, um, this is the NARS um, concealer in the color Honey. And I'm just gonna put this just like right underneath the eyes. Just in like an upside down triangle. This is more makeup than Kelly's ever worn in her life probably. <laughs> but, um, we're doing it for the YouTube. I'm gonna put a little bit of custard down the middle as well. So I'm gonna blend it out now. We're just like using a small brush and diffusing this out into like the contour. I don't wanna like kinda like cover too much of the contour that we just did. So just by doing this with a small brush, you're able to really like precisely like put the color or the light where you want it and then I'll go in with the sponge and like blend it out. So now I'm gonna take again just the cream bronzer and I'm using the Scott Barnes um, 63 brush. So I'm gonna use this cream bronzer and just basically connect it from the inner corner of the eyeshadow and bringing it all the way down to just snatch the nose. The nose is already snatched, so like, we barely have to snatch anything. 
Um, but I'm gonna blend this into the rest of the concealer. So now I'm gonna set the under eyes. I, I wanna make sure that there's no creasing underneath. So I'm, I'm gonna take the Dragon Beauty powder to look at for me. I'm just kinda like lightly bake right underneath the eyes. Have you ever baked before? No. Yeah, it's like, do you feel like it just like sucks? Yeah. It's, 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 like, it's like a lot of makeup, but. <laughs> this sponge, just kind of bake the center of the nose. And then for the rest, I'm just gonna blend it out with, um, I'm not really gonna set the rest of the face, but I'm gonna like kind of just brush all of the powder away. But now I'm gonna take um, my powder bronzer now. Again, in the shade she's sculpted. And I'm just gonna put this right on top of the areas that I applied the cream. So I'm just gonna again go in, going in like pressing motions. I really just wanna warm up the face. So this color is a lot more warm and it's a lot more like on the warmer side. So like it's gonna, it's gonna like really just give you that like sun kiss effect. And then I, I always like to go back in with like my sponge and then just like kind of melt all of the product back into the skin. So like, again, for coverage wise, you guys can definitely at home, like whatever, whatever like suits your aesthetic, but um, if this is too much for you or too little for you, like use the same techniques um, um, and you can just add less or more. Um, but it looks so pretty. I like it. Yeah. And then, I'm gonna finish off the face. So for blush, I am using my Major Headlines blush in She's So LA. So this is, so She's So LA is like the perfect bronzy blush color. And then I'm just gonna press all of that back into the skin. So I'm not gonna use the cream. Um, she might use the cream a little bit, just so it doesn't look so dry, so she looks more. Dewy, but I'm gonna use now the cream part of um, this blush. I'm just gonna go straight in with the Beauty Blender. And then put this product just like right on top. I like layering the two, because it kind of like, by layering the cream on top of the powder, it will kind of just melt the powder like back into the skin. All right, so now I'm gonna line Kelly's lips. So I'm using She's Bold. This is a really like deep brown, like a brownie mauve -y. But I feel like 90s, like they've, they've, they've always had that ombre lip, like with like the brown liner. So I'm just gonna add this just right into, I'm just gonna line this on top. And then for lips, I am going to use so I'm using She's Independent. Um, this is like a lip cream. So I'm gonna put a little bit of She's Unapologetic just right on the center. This is like a really lighter, like a lighter lip cream. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of powder just right on top of the lips just to mattify them out a little bit just because 90s lips were very matte. I'm gonna finish off the eyes and then we are basically done. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit, whatever eyeshadow that I use on top, I wanna bring it onto the bottom as well. I'm just gonna use that, like, that brown. Then I'm just gonna brighten the inner tear duct with some, with a lighter eyeshadow. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of my major brow. Um, I'm not, gonna really, I'm not really gonna fill in your eyebrows because your eyebrows are like honestly so good already. So I'm just going to comb out your brow here. I'm just using the shade Clear. Okie dokie, so now we're done. Five hours later. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna show you um, your makeup. I'm gonna see. Wow. Very glam. Yeah, it looks so good.
Kelly, thank you so much for coming on my channel. Um, I definitely want to do more looks with you. Um, yeah. So Kelly has her own channel. So you guys, I'll link it below, but you do a bunch of like... Fitness videos, workout videos, health and wellness. This body here, so you guys definitely need to go. I'm gonna go look at her um, videos. I want like a good like ab um, video because I eat way too I much. I have a ton of ab work. Really? Yeah, everything from like two minutes to 30 minutes. Mm. Maybe we will do one together. <laughs> I need to. Yeah, but seriously, thank you, thank, thank you thank so much. You. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.